1999. Arsenal, the Premiership senior club, the only one to play in football's top draw in all 54 seasons since World well, It's comeback day for Patrick Vieira after his seven-match suspension, renewing his partnership with Manu Fati. But the choice of those behind them will raise a few eyebrows. Only Tony Adams of the famous four survives from being sent to defeat at Coventry. Dixon and Winterburn are on the bench. Keown, who had missed eight games with a calf injury before Boxing Day, is now rested. As for the team who wear the rose of youth, in their case the white rose, there's only one change from the side which brought a fifth consecutive victory by beating Leicester on Boxing Day. Darren Huckabee's hamstring is compensated for by the recovery of Alan Smith's ankle. A case of whistle up another kid. Final check for the referee, Graham Paul of Tring in Hertfordshire. And that's the way it's coming. Hart to Kuhl, bridges down the left side. It doesn't quite work. Eight point gap between the two sides. And this, though, has not been a particularly happy hunting ground for Leeds United over the years. Just one success in the last 11. Smith, Kim on D, and he's back. Nice and clear. And here's Silvino. Under pressure by Boya. Pretty. Kuhl. First head by Adams, then by Grimondi, his sidekick today. A little flick by Kelly. Beautifully played by Woodgate. A good, strong challenge by Tony Adams brought that to an end. Something which uh, David O'Leary, the visiting manager, might just have appreciated as of days of yore. Here's Kanu. Good forward run by Jungberg. Thierry Henry's in the middle. So's Kanu. So's Obermars at the back of the box. An awful lot of Leeds players back. It's a massive yellow. It's a good turn by Obermars. But in the end, Woodgate gets the block in, but only to Pretty. And the first test for the two candidates for the number one goalkeeping position for England. And Andrew Martin making the first save of note. Deflection off Woodgate, straight to Pretty. Wasn't the best of angles for the uh, attempt. Put on the wall. Hardaway. Hart. Some of it's a bit too hurried. Cool. Telling put in by Lushny. Kanu. Space down the right side for Yungo. Hart's got a bit of ground to make up here. Ori in the middle, Overmars is the better ball, but Hart got back to him really well. Paced himself extremely well to get the tackle as he came in on the angle. He was exactly where he wanted to be, the fullback. Not fair. And Grimondi has gone down. No action from the referee. Grimondi has stayed down. This is Bridges. And that's a fine save. Twice. First by Seaman, second by Silvino. But the crowd clearly saw the other incident, which left Grimondi flat on the floor, 
with the ball nowhere near him. Well, that was a let off. Obviously, it was involving Michael Bridges and Grimandi. The suggestion is that there was contact, and that's why Grimandi went down. And that meant Michael Bridges suddenly was unmarked. It was him who went outside of Tony Adams, went across the goal. Half a save from Seaman, but fortunately then cleared away by Savinia. Curling corner, and Seaman a really good punch. Henri, accidental. I'm sure that Henri didn't need to go down as though he was poleaxed. It hit his arm, I believe, the boot. Overmars keeps going for Arsenal. It's a great little tussle between Kelly and Overmars. Gary Kelly playing really well since coming back into the team. It's a thoughtful quartet, if ever I saw one. And this is Henri. And it's still Henri. Jungberg. I think it was well worth the hands on the head. Very much a might have been. Struck it well, but it curled away. Yeah, Henri did well, wrong foot in Woodgate on a couple of occasions, just on the outside of the right foot, took it away from the angle. And the referee has given the free kick and Petit with a word to say. Well, again, I have to say that Smith led with his elbow, which... Uh, Caught Petit in the side. And uh, I think Petit showing his irritation, but I do think that Alan Smith should calm down a bit. He's uh, behaving in a rather unnecessary manner. Lovely turn, Kanu. from a Leeds player for Kanu, but Martin, I'm afraid, made the error, and Lundberg puts Arsenal in front. Well, it's a scuffed shot, you can see it bobbling along, Nigel Martin knows he should have held on to that. Seemed a bit slow going down, actually went to wrong foot the Leeds defence, didn't it, when it ended up going to Kanu, and Lundberg does very well to follow up, though, takes his chance. Kelly. Confident to let it run. Now he needs to use it. Took too long to make up his mind. Overmars got back to him. Bowie are quickly seeing the problem, getting himself into a defensive position. Jungberg loosely making the overlap again. Jungberg wants the shot. He's had one of two that have gone that way. Curling away from the post but that was probably the closest yeah he's uh, got one wants a, another one and uh, Luzny's not too happy though he made about 40 yard overlapping run Ford about to be raised on the far side so it's just one minute of stoppage time good play by Jungberg Henri Carnu plays as though he's having an afternoon stroll Henri Woodgate has come to greet him. Usually makes the run into the box. There are plenty of Arsenal players there already. Away by Hart. Henri's done well the last 10-15 minutes. Uh, just got a bit more confidence taking on defenders. Did well to get that cross in. Hart again. A bit easier this time.
stoppage time. Referee have a look at the watch. Whistles in his mouth. And Arsenal lead at half time. Goal in the 32nd minute by Frederick Lundberg. Mistake, it has to be said, by uh, Nigel Martin from Kanu's shot. Leeds United yet to show their real form. Half time, Arsenal 1, Leeds United 0. This match marks the 75th anniversary of the fixture. And uh, Leeds have won only 11 times since the first game approaching Christmas in 1924. For more experienced sides than David O'Leary's teams have failed the sort of test which Nigel Martin and company face now. Jungberg, had to be there before Carney that time. That's a foul again by Bridges. Just leading a bit into Luzhny, and the referee wants words. Petit. Adams at the back. Was a real chance. He stole up. Nobody spotted him. Classic running around the back. Had the whole goal to aim at. And put it wide. Well, he does that so often. Uh, he must have thought he's in defence and thought get some, get some height and distance. But a great chance for him. Kanu. That's a great ball to Ori. Still Ori. Lovely ball. Well, the Arsenal fans greeting that with the applause it deserves. A lovely ball from Kanu. And Ori, who showed a penchant for taking people on getting a rather be off balance before guarding the ball past Martin. Yes, but he's running at pace one-on-one, -on -one even Lucas Radebe's in trouble. Comes inside, opens up the whole goal, and just slide, rolls it past Nigel Martin. Once he's opened up the whole goal, can pick either side, goes for the far post, no chance. There's one happy Frenchman. coming up on the far side and it's Boer who puts it out of harm's way to the north bank you know, as Gary Kelly played on Rion uh, Leeds were looking for the offside flag it wasn't definitely onside but Kanu fantastic bit of individual skill is such a crowd pleaser isn't he it's, no wonder he's holding out for his contract defeat was in London when they lost by what is the present score at Highbury. They lost 2 0 to Wimbledon. On November the 7th. They did a run of 13 games without defeat in the competitions. This is Cardo, nobody wide to his right. That's good play. Batiste pass over Mars spin. out of his clearance now kill and this time he has got a bit of a chance to move the ball which he does Boya everything to uh, Lee Boya's left Boya again 
Bridges, this is more like Leeds. Kuehl coming in on the far side. Good challenge by Tony Adams. Well, it's good defending. I think Lee Bowie needed to knock it in first time. He just had the extra touch and that and over. Look, he gets it back here. This is when to knock it, but he touches it on. Look, far post Kuehl was on. And one in corners in the second half. Well taken. Bridges. Adams got back, but here's Bridges again. Now Leeds United's top scorer goes quickly onto it. This one wouldn't come back for him. First time Adams has been caught out, really. He had lost possession just before that. Michael Bridges trying to hit it with the outside of his right foot and hit it into that far corner. Just stretching quite catch it cleanly crowd of 38,000 and 96 and the majority would have enjoyed it shoot care fatigue over Mars Kanu Jungberg Kanu that's a good save Nigel Martin and he's had some good saves in this second period. Well, that was an excellent strike, almost from a standard position. Garnu looking for that elusive goal, he deserves one. Not away yet. <laughs> it's well away now. Two minutes of extra time. Stoppage time allowed. And it's been an excellent display by Arsenal. Uh, certainly, I don't think anyone was called when Arsenal Wenger said after that commentary defeat they're out of the title race. They look extremely impressive. Leeds United, Manchester United know they will be there almost right to the very end. This man, Kano, has been quite outstanding though today, pulling all the strings, but there's been some good performances all around and a comprehensive victory for Leeds United, though, one of those bad days, rare bad days. Savino's got Shukia! And dare I say it, his right foot just fails to find the upper tier. That was a wonderful cross for Silvino. That was there just sitting, waiting to be hit. It was hit, but not quite on target, as you say, on his left foot. I think we could have seen a, a different end product. Nigel Martin taking the kick here. Error for the first goal. Other than that, though, he's performed very well. And I think the way the game has gone, that probably wasn't the decisive moment of the game because Arsenal always seemed to have an extra half a yard throughout the game. On Bridges. <laughs> Another look at the watch. And Leeds United can perhaps console themselves with the uh, fact that in five of the last seven seasons the team leading the championship at the turn of the year has not gone on to take the title. Here's the man of the match, Kanu, the Nigerian, and swap shirts with Luka Tradebi, the captain of a Leeds United side who on the day were very disappointing. Jungberg scoring the first goal, Henri the second in the 32nd and 59 minutes respectively. Arsenal very much the masters as Henri as the two goal scorers go off together. It was a fine performance by Arsene Wenger's team, but on the day, 
David O'Leary's youngsters were out of sorts and well beaten. This was one you had to win, wasn't it? We had to, like you say. Before the game, you knew that, and uh, we were a little bit nervous when you started the game, and the leads looked more confident than you were. But uh, I think the desire, the, the determination was on our side, and uh, that kept us through the difficult periods of the game. And uh, after the first half, we looked never really under threat. David, a disappointing afternoon, I would think. Disappointing, Barry, but the best team won. Um, we can play better. I thought they were much fresher, um, like Patrick Vieira coming back. Uh, and I think it was our 10th game in 30 days. And I'm not trying to take anything away from Arsenal because they were a better team on the day. But um, I could tell a little bit before the game we were a bit stale. Um, I tried to get this game moved um, many weeks ago to a, a Wednesday evening. Give us a little bit more uh, uh, time to prepare. But uh, good on Mr. Wenger, he didn't want to move it. And, uh, you know, uh, they ran out worthy winners. What about the party piece in midfield? <laughs> yeah, it's like football. It's all like that. You have to, um, it's, it's, you have to be serious. Uh, it's business, and um, you also have to enjoy yourself. So you have to combine the two and uh, see that you win. When you win the last two games, we just take one point, and uh, you play against Leeds, and Leeds was um, eight points up front. If we was drawing or lost this game, it's going to be really difficult for us. To, to come back and uh, I think now with uh, just five points behind everything is possible because he's a long way to go and uh, of course before the game it was in the pressure but I think we showed today our quality we have in the team. We have to show consistency to close the gap. Uh, the gap is five points uh, with Leeds, don't forget that we have to go to Leeds and uh, Man United as well has a good cushion so at the moment I think they are the two favourites. Well, they're one of the two favourites, according to Arsene Wenger. They've been very impressive this season, but totally overrun today. Yeah, um, I just think it was a non-performance from Leeds today. I mean, as well as Arsenal played, um, they just didn't perform, didn't pass the ball, didn't really create anything. I think Seaman just had one save uh, to make. You could see straight away, on, etched on the faces of people like Adams, Vieira was back alongside his mate Petit in midfield, protect the back four, give you a base to build on. I think generally Arsenal were sharper. Uh, the passing was more incisive, the movement was better, and they created lots of chances throughout the day. And some terrific individual performances amongst them. And, but one man for you stood out, didn't he? Oh, Kanu today, he was just sensational. I mean, he's got the build of, of, a, of a basketball player. It's amazing. <laughs> big, long, he's, he's long legs, he's lanky, and he looks really awkward at times. But, you know, he's, oh, he's strong, he's got great vision, always finds a man. And some of the things he does, would, would, especially today, were just brilliant. He's surrounded by defenders, and he almost loses it. And I think as a defender, you always think he's going to lose it. He never loses it. Little couple of tricks and mesmerizes players, wait for the movement, great ball. And he did that all day in all positions. And he's so, so laid back. You know, we never really see him get het up. Here for the goal, protects the ball very, very well again, takes it away from Woodgate, and he waits and waits and waits for Henri. Lovely weighted pass, and he gave Henri the chance to open his legs and use his pace. Wrong foot's rather be, and it was a great finish. And you always feel with Carno that he, he's, he, he's got so much ability just to wait for people before he delivers a pass. It is just, just fantastic, this. I mean, you know, surrounded by players, left, right foot, left foot, you know, spot of wrestling in the middle, <laughs> bit of line dancing, you name it, get the gloves <laughs> off. And he had everything. This was great, right at the end of the game. And you see him study, oh dear, the ball's come to you, what shall I do? It's like a training thing. I know it's a bit what tense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, <laughs> he needs to relax a bit more. I'll have a shot. And I, I would, I, my criticism of him would be once scoring enough goals. And yet, um, I think he scored 10 already this season, and he hasn't scored for the last 11 games. So it obviously doesn't worry him and doesn't affect him. Do you think Arsene Wenger knows his best strike for us? I mean, he, or is he sport for choice? Um, I think it's a bit of both, Gary. I, I'm not sure that he does know his best strike for us. I think maybe sometimes you can wait for that to, to hit you in the face, mm. and, and sometimes it doesn't. And he is spoilt for choice as well. I mean, the fact, you know, he's got Bergkamp to come back in, he's got Carney, he's got Henri to play through the middle, he's got Chouquet, who's, I think, has only started about nine of ten games himself, and he's got about nine goals. So I still don't think they know exactly what front two they want to play. But Henri looks impressive, though. He's, he's got such pace. He's got great pace, great athlete again, and he's growing in confidence, and he's scored a lot of goals lately, and, and that's obviously lined to his, uh, 